Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. Which sign means the end of a dual carriageway? The correct answer is C. If you are overtaking, make sure you move back safely into the left hand lane before you reach the end of the dual carriageway. What shape are traffic signs giving orders? A, B, C, D. The correct answer is A. Road signs in the shape of a circle give orders. Those with a red circle are mostly prohibitive. The stop sign is octagonal to give it greater prominence. Signs giving orders must always be obeyed. You're at a junction controlled by traffic lights. When should you wait at a green light? When pedestrians are waiting to cross. When your exit from the junction is blocked. When you think the lights may be about to change. When you intend to turn right. The correct answer is when your exit from the junction is blocked. As you approach the traffic lights. Look into the road you wish to take. Only proceed if your exit road is clear. If the road is blocked, hold back. Even if you have to wait for the next green signal. Which sign means that the national speed limit applies? The correct answer is. Which sign means the end of a dual carriageway? The correct answer is. If you are overtaking, make sure you move back safely into the left hand lane before you reach the end of the dual carriageway. Which is the sign for a ring road? The correct answer is, ring roads are designed to relieve congestion in towns and city centers. Which diagram shows a hazard warning line? The correct answer is, you need to know the difference between the normal center line and a hazard warning line. If there's a hazard ahead, the markings are longer and the gaps shorter. This gives you advance warning of an unspecified hazard. Which sign means no entry? The correct answer is, look for and obey traffic signs. Disobeying or not seeing a sign could be dangerous. It may also be an offense for which you could be prosecuted. What does a sign with a brown background show? Tourist directions, primary roads, motorway routes, minor roads. The correct answer is tourist directions. Signs with a brown background give directions to places of interest. They are often seen on a motorway, directing you along the easiest route to the attraction. You're about to overtake. What should you do when you see this sign? Overtake the other driver as quickly as possible. Move to the right to get a better view. Switch your headlights on before overtaking. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. The correct answer is hold back until you can see clearly ahead. You won't be able to see any hazards that might be hidden in the dip, as well as oncoming traffic. The dip may conceal cyclists, horse riders, parked vehicles, pedestrians in the road. What information would be shown in a triangular road sign? Road narrows, ahead only, keep left, minimum speed. The correct answer is road narrows. Warning signs are there to make you aware of potential hazards on the road ahead. Take note of the signs so you're prepared and can take whatever action is necessary. What do these zigzag white lines mean? No parking at any time. Parking allowed only for a short time. Slow down to 20 miles per hour. Sounding horns isn't allowed. The correct answer is no parking at any time. The approach to and exit from a pedestrian crossing is marked with zigzag lines. You mustn't park on them or overtake the leading vehicle when approaching the crossing. Parking here would block the view for pedestrians and approaching traffic. What does the sign mean? Turn left for parking area. No through road on the left. No entry for traffic turning left. Turn left for ferry terminal. The correct answer is no through road on the left. This sign shows you that you can't get through to another route by turning left at the junction ahead. 
What does 25 mean on this motorway sign? The distance to the nearest town. The route number of the road. The number of the next junction. The speed limit on the slip road. The correct answer is the number of the next junction. Before you set out on your journey, use road map to plan your route. When you see an advance warning of your junction, Make sure you get into the correct lane in plenty of time. Last minute harsh braking and cutting across lanes at speed is extremely hazardous. What does the sign mean? Give way to oncoming vehicles. Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. Turn off at the next available junction. Pass either side to get to the same destination. The correct answer is pass either side to get to the same destination. These signs are often seen in one-way streets that have more than one lane. When you see this sign, Use the route that's the most convenient and doesn't require a late change of direction. What does the sign mean? Cyclists must dismount. Cycles aren't allowed. Cycle route ahead. Cycle in single file. The correct answer is cycle route ahead. Where there's a cycle route ahead, a sign will show a bicycle in a red warning triangle. Watch out for children on bicycles and cyclists rejoining the main road. What does the sign mean? Service area 30 miles ahead. Maximum speed 30 miles per hour. Minimum speed 30 miles per hour. Lay by 30 miles ahead. The correct answer is minimum speed 30 miles per hour. This sign is shown where slow moving vehicles would impede the flow of traffic, for example, in tunnels. However, if you need to slow down or even stop to avoid an incident or potential collision, you should do so. What does the sign mean? Through traffic to use left lane. Right hand lane T junction only. Right hand lane closed ahead. 11 ton weight limit. The correct answer is right hand lane closed ahead. You should change lanes as directed by the sign. Here, the right hand lane is closed but the left hand and center lanes are available. Merging in turn is recommended when it's safe and traffic is going slowly. For example, at roadworks or a road traffic incident. When vehicles are traveling at speed, this isn't advisable and you should move into the appropriate lane in good time. You're on a three-lane motorway. How should you overtake a slow-moving lorry in the middle lane if it's showing this sign? Cautiously approach the lorry, then overtake on either side. Follow the lorry until you can leave the motorway. Use the right-hand lane and overtake the lorry normally. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. The correct answer is approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. This sign is found on slow-moving or stationary works vehicles. If you wish to overtake it, do so on the left, as indicated. Be aware that there might be people working in the area. What's the purpose of the yellow lines painted across the road? To show a safe distance between vehicles. To keep the area clear of traffic. To make you aware of your speed. To warn you to change direction. The correct answer is to make you aware of your speed. These lines may be painted on the road on the approach to a roundabout, a village or a particular hazard. The lines are raised and painted yellow and their purpose is to make you aware of your speed. Reduce your speed in good time so that you avoid having to brake harshly over the last few meters before reaching the junction. What does the sign indicate? A diversion route. A picnic area. A pedestrian zone. A cycle route. The correct answer is a diversion route. When a diversion route has been put in place, drivers are advised to follow a symbol which may be a black triangle, square, circle or diamond shape on a yellow background. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.